everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to be making the easiest and yummy chocolate chip cookies. And before you watch this video, please like and subscribe. These chocolate chip cookies will be ready in a snack. And also, the sweetness of this cookie is not too much or not too less. It's medium. Okay, so let us get started. So the ingredients you will be needing is 225 grams of uh, uh, salted butter. If you're using unsalted, you have to put salt in the all-purpose flour that I will be coming to that. And 50 grams of icing sugar, which is powdered sugar. Vanilla extract. 130 grams of light brown sugar, one egg, which is right here, and half a cup of chocolate chips, baking soda, and 300 grams of all-purpose flour. So first, I'm going to be taking my all-purpose flour, which is 300 grams, and putting one teaspoon of baking soda into it. This recipe doesn't use baking powder, it just uses baking soda. And as it's a cookie, you don't actually have to sift it. And then, we'll give this a nice wick. Yes. Now, we'll set it aside. wet ingredients. For my wet ingredients, I'm going to be adding, so my butter is actually room temperature. Make sure your butter is in room temperature, okay? So 225 grams of salted butter. So now I said, if you're using unsalted butter, if you're using unsalted butter, just add half a teaspoon of salt into your all-purpose flour along with your baking soda. Just create this butter bowl. You could use an electric beater or a stand mixer, but I just find it easier to use my plain spatula. adding my uh, 130 30 grams of light brown sugar into my butter and just break that up. And as I said, you could also use your electric mixer if you would like. And make sure that your butter and your sugar is nicely mixed. Once you know it's none, just like do my folding into like how I fold my cake batter. Just the same thing. There. Then I'll add my confectioner sugar, which is powdered sugar, which is 50 grams of my powdered sugar, and mix this all up. So, you can actually see how the brown sugar takes over the butter and the white powdered sugar. Nice and even. Okay. Now I'll add my one teaspoon of baking and um, of vanilla extract. It's 
optional if you want to use vanilla extract. If you want some kind of flavor also in your chocolate chip cookies, use this. And I love vanilla extract. And it also gives a nice flavor into this cookie. It's like you can, you actually kind of feel this is already the dough, but it's not. <laughs> Nicely firm. And now I'm going to be adding one egg. Actually, this is not like a big, so much cookies. Just a bit. And make sure the shells are not there. And I am going to be mixing this up with, make sure your eggs and that butter, make sure should be nicely mixed. Okay, it kind of like get so liquidy. Look at that. What I actually do is now switch to the whisker. Because the whisker actually makes the eggs and the butter come together more. It's like you're making a chocolate chip cake. But now, let's add the flour. I mean the flour and the baking soda. And if you're using unsalted butter, also the salt. So this is a nice mix. First, I'm going to be mixing with my spatula. Then you can go with your hand. Sometimes I use a apron, sometimes I don't. And uh, make sure, why, when you're mixing with your hands, just make sure the flour is well combined. So nice and flimsy. And actually the dough will be kind of sticky and if you could use your, your help from your mother or your father, you could do that. So the dough is actually nice flimsy. If the dough is like sticky like mine, I'll add a bit more flour in my hands, just like this, and then just mix it up. And make sure you also put some flour at your fingers, okay? So while I'm mixing, I'll add half of my, I'll 
purpose straw. As I said, if your dough is so sticky like mine, just add at least one fourth cup of of all purpose flour. At least add half of that. Because you don't want a lot of flour. Continue mixing. And bring the flour to the dough. That's why I take a big big bowl so the cookie dough can form together. Nice. Now I've mixed my dough and I actually divided it into half. So this is not all the dough, there's more. So now I'm gonna be making the shapes. As this dough is very soft, you can't make other shapes. You just have to do it by hand. So how you take is just take a little bit of that dough. I got my pan with parchment on it. If you don't want to put any parchment paper, just just put it over there. So I got it. Just like roll it into a ball. And then just press it like that and then get it nice and soft. If you want to put more chocolate chips on top, you can. But I don't want to. So just keep on continuing the same size or you can do other size, other shapes. You can do anything you want. These I have already done and I made the circle shapes and these my mother has done. So I have heated my oven till 175 Celsius and I just need to put this in. Now I've got my cookie already done and I'm going to be putting it at my oven which has been heated till 175 Celsius. And you can also just heat it at the starting. Yes. the oven 15 to 20 minutes and then we'll be back. Wow! And now my cookies have been baked. My cookies only took at least 19 minutes to bake. I hope you like this recipe and you could also put some chocolate chips on top. That's what I did right here. And now let's give it a try. Thank you. Bye.